no matter where we are sent in the world, here at The Wine Show, we're never known to shirk a challenge. From Argentina to Canada, Japan to Georgia, if it involves wine... I like this one! Yes! <laughs> we're there. So when Amelia Singer and I are sent to the Côte d'Azur to find wine to serve at a VIP dinner, we could not be happier. This is your kind of place. My place in my colours. That Tower of Rosé. Oh, we could have fun with that. Winemaker Sasha Lachine of Chateau d'Esclin is our go-to guy for inspiration. Would you say there's a particular rosé which would be the most versatile, which would work particularly well with a VIP dinner we have to host? Mm -hmm. Take note, Joe. Take some notes. I think Rock Angel. It all started with a whisper, now it's time to rock. <laughs> That's the easy bit. We need to find the venue for our dinner. A harbourside restaurant, a villa on a hill, even a little super yacht? No, we're heading to the Celebrity Reflection. Where we swap civvies to become trainee sommeliers for the day. This is amazing. It's huge, isn't it? Check out that wine tower back there. Before we're let loose, we have training from the onboard wine team. I want to present and uh, serve from the right-hand side. From the right side. Do many people break bottles? Is that a common occurrence? It's hard one. It's hard one. We can't afford any mistakes on a celebrity cruise. Good evening. Hello, Mr Evans. How are you? Fortunately, I remember how to open a bottle of champagne safely. Remember the rules? Always point the cork away from the guests while Amelia is kept busy restocking the spectacular wine tower. There we go. But the pressure is on to find some great wines for two V VIP guests. This is the one I'm worried, most worried about, Pinot Noir from California. Maybe we'll just give them lots and lots of Rock yeah, Angel all the way through. Yeah, with if the they, Magnum if and then say... everything will be fine. OK. Hello. <laughs> Find out if we sink or swim in the brand new series of The Wine Show. <laughs>